Hello, lovely people. I'm Michal Kaligrix from Tantra Movement. And today I will speak about one of the healing aspects uh, what we can uh, do through being in the conscious relationship uh, or uh, being in the conscious community. Usually, when we are on the spiritual, especially tantric path, then uh, we are choosing uh, as a magnet for relationships what would heal us. Having that consciousness that we are replicating the situations from the past, what are freezing our emotions in our body, uh, freezing our emotions in our emotional body, in our all bodies. With that consciousness, we can actually choose another way, choose the healing of those past situations. And that's why those connections are happening. That's why we magnet the people who will trigger us and who will heal us. We use triggers in Tantra as an opportunity for us to grow, to heal, not as a thing what we have to run away. Because if we run away, they will repeat in the next conscious relationship, in the next conscious community. And we have to just get conscious about it. Take this opportunity. So whenever you start to feel that uh, something is uh, reminding uh, maybe your relationship with your father or maybe previous relationship uh, with your partner, maybe with the partners, and that was uh, repeating itself, get conscious about it. Uh, you are there, it, the situation repeats for you to have take the opportunity to heal that situation. When someone, maybe in your relationship, maybe in the community, reminds your father behavior, what you didn't like it, what make impact and bad effect on you, what uh, make you carrying the wounds, what are triggered by the person who maybe you are close to, talk to that person, say about what happened with your father, say about that that person remind you your father and then ask that person don't take it personally but please could you do things the way how I would like my father in the past do it you can say also what is the best version of your father you would like to have and ask that person to be there for you and in that way when the person choose to do differently for you it's holding your space and it's doing for you the healing but even if the person is still repeating the same behavior because maybe doesn't have this capacity or cannot hold your space in that way you you can choose to do things differently and heal that situation. Think about it, how you can do things differently. Sometimes it's the most crazy, most wild thing, what we have to do, most challenging thing, because yes, we're healing the patterns from the past, we're healing the programs, what we are programmed, and you know, we're liberating from those programs, by doing something completely different and that's for us can feel different challenge but that's how you do you don't want the same record uh, repeating itself it, uh, repeating itself yes change the record that's the ways how we heal through behaviors through being in the conscious relationship through being in the conscious community. That's why in Tantra Movement we are aiming for it, to create this opportunity, to create family what will grow on better ways than we experienced before. We're creating new world, but we have to learn about it, we have to do it, learn how to love better and doing it. And let's don't forget about other healing aspects like uh, through the body, through the massage, through the love making, through any body work and mental aspect, uh, through the therapy, emotional aspect is 
how to lo love better through Tantra by doing it. So use it, don't lose it. Share it, that love with this video. Stay connected, subscribe. Thank you for your attention. I love you.